Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. And uh, I think we're done here other than just leaving, frankly. We did everything we needed to, I think. So let's see if we can continue the story and our journey. We have yet to have a fight against Dredge, if I remember correctly. Shouts from one of the rear longships grab everyone's attention. The quick construction is proving faulty and the ship is taking on water fast. With Dredge on the bank and all other ships almost at capacity, you consider your options. Bank the longship for repairs. Have the clansmen board other ships. Dump supplies to make room on other longships. Ask shipwrights for advice. Well, the problem is if all the ships are almost full, I don't think we have room to board other ships. And we really can't afford to get rid of a bunch of supplies. So I think I have to at least try and keep the dredge at bay and fix these things. So ropes are thrown to those aboard the sinking longship and it is hauled toward the bank. A few dredge appear, but keep their distance. Their glowing eyes and strange hums unnerve the caravan as workers make necessary repairs. Alright, so it worked. I wonder if that humming is a way they communicate with each other, maybe even over distance. Is that how they summon reinforcements, for example? I don't know. The sheer cliffs and boulder-strewn waters of the southern bank dictate the lawn ship's course. The droning sounds of the dredge accent their quicker pace as they follow your ships along the northern bank. Dust and mist make it hard to see ahead. A hissing, rumbling noise grows all around. Waterfall, shouts the sharp-eyed Nid from the bow of her long ship. Oars instantly reverse, and you nearly lose your balance. Yeah, I'm guessing the long ships going over a long waterfall like this would not be good news. So, nobody knew that this river had a falls? Or is this new thanks to our giant serpent friend? That's possible, I guess. Um, the roar of the approaching waterfall clouds your thoughts. The ships struggle, but their light weight makes them able to pull away from the river's deadly current. The thought of what more clansmen weighing down the ships would have done makes you shiver. Oh my, so if we had spread the people around to the different ships, that could have gone very badly. The remaining ship's rowers pull hard, heading for the dredge line northern bank. In their haste, the vessels smash against sharp, split rocks as they push toward the shore. Some fighters are thrown from the boat, sinking in mud under the weight of their armor. Well, that's not good. The long ships are too spread out to command a unified landing. Amid the chaos, you look to those nearby. Gris, a stout Varl warrior, and a few others like him look ready to rush the dredge. Bolverk and his company are close to you, hauling their sealed cart off the ship. You consider your options. Oddleaf, can you help keep the dredge off us? We could use some help from the ravens, Bolverk. Gris, make an opening in their ranks. Follow me, we'll push them back. I feel, I, I don't think this is realistic. It would be awesome if you could just shoot a few arrows and that would be enough. I feel like it needs to be Varl that kind of open up that hole. The Ravens would be awesome, but they probably won't do it. So I think um, it's gonna have to be Gris. 
Without questioning your authority, the stout Varl grunts in agreement. Five other Varl join him and push forward into a dredge onslaught while you ready your attack. Well, I guess I got my, uh, my wish and we're going to have some fighting here. Oh, so that's funny. So Gris is fighting them, but like we don't get to use him. <laughs> All right, let's grab Mogger. And um, let's see. Cromer is pretty darn good. Percy. Eh. Um, I don't have a lot of Varl to choose from. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's put Ivor in. <clears throat> and I think that's enough of the Varl. I'll go ahead and bring um, Luden, maybe. Um, <clears throat> what's this guy's deal? Crap armor. Crap strength. What, what's your ability? He's a spearman. All right. I've already, I've already got Luden, so I mean, I'm not really looking for another guy like that wow Irik is back man I kind of forgot about him I wish he was Gil but <laughs> okay I tell you what I, I like Hogan and, and Mogun so why don't we bring them and I think I'll do something like that uh okay so let's see ready for battle I think so I'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. That's a lot of dredge. Chris, why did he advance so far? Don't let his death be in vain. Fight. So we lost Chris. Well, that kind of sucks. So that guy's really strong. Oh boy. Okay, well, this kind of sucks. I hate that we lost Chris. But, oh well, I guess. Hmm. I don't. I don't have much choice but to come up on this guy as fast as I can, I guess. How is he going to do me any good? Hmm. I mean, if I put him here, he's not going to do anything. This is a risky damn thing to do. I don't like putting Kramer there at all. Because the problem is, he's... T okay, I tell you what. I have an idea. Since Mogger gets to go first. If I put him here, I know he can move away. Because I'm going to try and wreck this guy before, you know, I do anything else. All right. I don't know if this is a good formation, but I think it's the best I'm going to get right now. Uh, one thing that's kind of rough, having him in front of Ivor when Ivor goes first, that's probably really bad. All right, I think we're ready. So I feel like I want to move here. Because I don't want to be standing where this guy can hit him. So how about I come here? I don't know. I do not love my whole setup here, but... 
I'm trying to do the best I can. And now this guy has blocked me from getting to the dude I really needed to break the armor for. Swell. Thanks for that. Yeah, I'm hosed now. That guy's going to hit me like a truck. Ooh, what? They got some kind of, like, dog things. This could go, like, really, really badly for me. I can break four armor guaranteed. Or... I can do this. I think I will. At least I'm lowering his strength, too, which is really good right now. Because 19 strength is kind of a lot. Okay. We're going to make this guy very mortal here. Okay. Now I still have to worry about Big Boy here. I don't think he can make it to any of our guys. Unfortunately, Luden can't make it to anybody. I could come over here. I can make it to me but I mean basically I'm just getting Luden wrecked by this guy if I do it I guess it's not a guarantee I do kind of like the idea of hurting that thing hold on what does this say about him skulker becomes invisible and stalks a target oh my god and I mean, if he howls he reappears and attacks Signaling, signaling its packmates to attack the same target. Wow. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not going to have that. So, unfortunately, he's probably going to get attacked a lot. Oh my gosh, how many of these things are there? Alright, hopefully we can kill him pretty quick here. Uh, but let's hurt this guy. So, if I do this... Then that pretty much ends him as a damage dealer. Uh... Um, okay, well, we're definitely seeing some, some new stuff here, aren't we? It's a hazard. To avoid it, you can carefully plan your movement by clicking waypoints. Yeah, okay, I get it. Um, but I want to know about this guy. So this is a stone singer with way more armor than we're used to seeing. Plus three armor damage to dredge causes one... Oh, no, excuse me, splinter. Three plus armor damage to dredge causes one armor damage to all adjacent dredge. And Sentinel, when a stone singer is hit, all gloom warden wardens focus on its attacker for a round. Who are gloom wardens? Apparently, there aren't any on the map right now. Drum fire. Shockwave does armor break damage. So that must be this, that wave. A hot ash remnant hurts enemies and mends dredge. Oh, brother, you... Hmm. Okay. I think what I want to do is come over here... Would I be... I think I'm hitting that thing. Yeah, I'd be standing in the hazard. Uh, I could come here, I guess. So if I did this, then I don't. Alright. Breaks an enemy's armor and punishes enemies for retaliating. I feel like I need to do this. It sucks that I won't be hurting them, but... 
Okay. Do I want to waste Ivor's turn on this guy? I wish I could kill him, but I can't. I don't know. Um, I can't actually hurt anybody this turn. But I think I need to get over here. I gotta be ready to support Mogger or he's just gonna get wrecked. Actually, the good thing is he's like the only guy I have maybe with enough armor to take a shot from this idiot without getting completely destroyed. Um, do I wanna try to hurt the Stone Singer or this guy? I could do like five damage to him. I think I'm gonna try and hurt him first. Oh my, okay. That's really frustrating because apparently I misclicked and I'm diagonal to him. So I, I literally can't do anything. I can't attack anybody. I can't do anything. I just have to end my turn. That's awesome. I just wasted my turn. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I, that's been a frustration to me the whole time, unfortunately, since I started Banner Saga 1. Is that um, if you misclick on a move, like you're just screwed. Like, <laughs> be more careful. <laughs> that's pretty much the answer. Okay, I'm gonna step up here and get out of the way a little bit at least, and we'll kill one of these stupid hounds. And I imagine, yeah, he'll armor break. So she can't stand her ground. I gotta move her forward. Fortunately, she can still do enough damage to get the kill. So that's good. Um, I would really like to attack that guy, but I don't get to. I could attack the Stone Singer, and honestly, I think that's quite a bit more important than this random dork. And I, I would like to add at least one. Oh. Well, speaking of misclicks, I clicked on the wrong thing. I I meant. I should have clicked the willpower icon and so that thing is skulking now All right, I'm gonna come over here yeah okay let's do this I don't get to oh are you kidding me can I target like this no so even though I know he's there, I just don't get to do it. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> wow. Well, all right, another wasted turn. This is going really well. Okay, so I guess now they broke cover. Um, I think I want to do this. Let me blow the horn. And that'll let me use his special ability. Maybe I should move first. If I come around here... Because i got to let the Varl get to him. He's just going to die. Well, not die, but... All right, unfortunately that means I need to use the horn again. So let's use the stupid flail. All right, so I didn't take much off his strength, but his armor is racked. I mean, if I can just... Oh crap, he's standing right in the middle of this crap. What does it do again? Uh, it hurts enemies and men's dredge. So I don't know how badly it hurts enemies. Okay, I need, I need to like, hurt this guy. Um, 
Okay. I mean, I'm not going to get to use the Impale, but... Yeah. Let's cut this guy's strength in half. Suddenly, he becomes a very ordinary opponent. And that's kind of what I need right now. And again, I can't leave her back. I gotta move her forward or she can't do anything. <gasps> I should have moved her forward. I could have used thread the needle and hit these two. But I didn't. So I guess I'm just gonna have to live with that. Can I, is three damage meaningful there? Would I be better served to do something like that and cut this thing down half by half? Maybe I am. Okay, so he's going into summon mode, it seems. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I, I still can't get off. I'm just stuck. Awesome. Well, let's do this. Oh my god, he's just getting destroyed by this stupid thing. Can I attack... No, I see. I can only attack the stupid mutt or this thing. Okay. Um, I don't know. These stupid dogs are kind of a pain. I thought about attacking him just to help protect Alette. But... Okay, I don't think I want to let this guy do what he's trying to do, and I'm going to have a tough time stopping him. I'm going to have a really hard time stopping him. Okay, Kramer, please kill this fool. I feel like they definitely made Stone Singers a lot harder. And, of course... Oh, it's over? That's weird. It's weird because, like, the one guy was still in the middle of summoning, and some of the hound-type creatures were still alive. So, it's like there's a different criteria now for how a fight ends. Hakon works his way through frantic clansmen on his way to you. You made some tough calls on that river. If those ships had been loaded down with more people, no telling how many we'd have lost. Thanks. Too bad the landing was so rough. Hakon squints into the distance. Their next attack is coming, and this time they'll come in force. Then we should charge before they're ready. I like that. It's too late for that little one, and there's not enough of us to make a dent. Oh, okay. Then what? We just wait here until they run us off this cliff? Juno and Avent approach. There may be a way out of this situation. A gamble, to be sure, but we believe it's our only chance. Gods, it's bad when a Valka option is the only one. <laughs> Worse than that. I can't promise everyone will make it. Juno gives Avent a look. So what's your idea? Avent sighs. With Juno's help, I think I can get us across the chasm, but it won't be easy for me or the caravan. I need to help Avon and calm these people so they're ready to march when he's ready. You need to keep this area clear of dredge at all costs. If they... The, s the sound of a war horn cuts her off and everyone turns to look. The dredge assault begins. Alet, hack on, you know what to do. Yeah, I guess I do. It looks like the force you trained is roughly the size of the enemies. This could go either way, but a victory here will protect most of your clansmen. Juno and Avon move to the cliff's edge. Hack on, survey, surveying the battlefield, says, Some supply barrels could make a few barricades for defense. Otherwise, it'll be a straightforward assault. You know, I'll be honest, those stupid things are more likely to get in my way than help. So, we'll assault without barricades. We'll need those supplies, you say. The Varl King gives you a look that says, if we make it through this. 
Okay, so this is pretty funny. You can either charge or rethink your options. Oh, she means about the barriers. I get it. Okay, well, we're going to go in. Yeah, we're, we're attacking. I'm all in, man. So, do I want the same group? Um, I mean, I'm assuming we're going to be healed. Tell you what, I like... Crummer a lot, but let's just bring in Gunolf to mix it up a little bit. And then um can I can I promote anybody? I have some renown. So let me see. Um I think getting Mogger, what's his special ability? Break plus two, plus three to return a favor. I kind of like the idea of promoting him. It's going to be very expensive. What is it? Oh, it's only nine? Really? Wow, that's way cheaper than it used to be to get to level five. And I guess it's because now you can promote past five. Interesting. Okay, so let's do this. Let's give him another point of strength. And I'm half tempted to do this, but I'm also tempted to do that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I may give him more willpower later, but I'm never going to be sorry I have that armor. So, okay, that's done. Yeah, man. Okay, so this is pretty interesting now because <laughs> Papa Tapcat has some uh, ability to promote some guys all of a sudden. Five strikes total. So I would have to promote him twice more, I believe, to get that because he's at level three already. And I believe once you hit three, the next rank of that special ability comes at level five. So all of our guys are at least level three. That's actually kind of cool. Um, but having said that, who would I most, well, let's, let's do this. Um, if I were going to promote him, okay, it would cost 13, which is quite a bit. That's half of all the renown I've got. All right. So let's, Take a hard look at some of these lower level guys. Like, what if I brought Nid instead of her? What's her special ability? Plus two range, 100% chance to hit. I kind of like that. So what... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. I can't promote Nid. So that's okay. We'll bring her and try to get her some experience. And let's go ahead. Hogan has such a good ability, that flail. Even if I don't do it both times right now, let's go ahead and get him another level. So let's see. I could definitely put more into his strength. I mean, I'm probably going to go both into strength unless I give him one more willpower. But I, I think I just do this. Okay, and he cannot be promoted again. So he also needs more experience before I can go again. I mean, I don't think I want to spend the renown to promote a level five yet. I think I'd rather get some of these other guys up a notch. So you know what? I, I could promote Luden. I think I'm going to leave it at this for now. And we're going to go a little long this episode. It's been so long. I mean, this is episode three and we're finally getting some real fights. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's all right. Well, this will be a battle heavy episode, a little bit longer episode. Hopefully uh, you won't mind too much. OK, this does not look like the hardest hitting group we've ever seen. This guy is the most powerful in terms of his armor and all that. He's also standing near, you know, the, uh, this, what do they call these slingers, I think? Yes. What are the big dredge stone guard and dredge scourge? I should really pay more attention to the names and abilities these guys have, I admit it. But right now, I think what I want to do 
these guys over. Oh, man. Actually, let me do this. Move Mogger over there. Nid here. I see. You can't stand here because of the cliffs. Oh, man, Luden. Where do I want you? Guess I'll put him here. I honestly do not know. Okay, I'd rather be able to hit that guy first, but that's all right. They're all dangerous. Let's get my butt up here. What if I just slam him? I don't think so. We're gonna break a bunch of armor. And that's fine. Oh, brother. You know what really sucks is how he's blocked off this guy. Bastage. I needed to hit him. <laughs> well, at least I took one of his armor away. For what that's worth. Uh, okay, so Hogan isn't really going to be able to do much for me right now. I think I'll come here and beef his armor up a bit. Alright, I took a little damage. Nothing extreme. I'll come up with him. One way or another, Gunolf will be able to attack somebody next turn. Alright, I'll probably just do a regular attack here since this guy doesn't really have room to get pushed back much. Oh, brother, they have more guys come in. Yes, yes, Juno. Thank you for the uh, hot tip. They're making a nice little line here. I'm going to have to try and take advantage of that as much as possible. Hold on. Yeah, I think this is the only... Uh, two damage is not great. But it does pull him down to his armor level. So that's actually not bad. Okay. Okay. So I could hurt him, or I can really take his armor down. And I think in this instance, I'd rather get him down to 9 strength. He really isn't going to be a huge issue for me at that point. Jeez, what is even... <sighs> it's like watching Yoda at work. Size matters not. You can lift anything. Man, I wish I had him with Tempest over here. <laughs> but I don't. Um, okay, so basically I could, I could kill this guy straight up. And maybe I will. Oh my god, I just realized how stupid that was because I broke the chain. <laughs> I broke that effect of you hit one and it just ripples down the line. I'm so stupid. I can't come here. Yes, I really am stupid. Well, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Um, having done something really stupid... I will wait. I'll get Gunolf out of the way. And then next turn. So the problem is uh, to two adjacent enemies. These aren't adjacent. So let's actually kill the stupid slinger. Honestly, he's more dangerous to me right now than the big bruiser. And I'll just kill this idiot. Boy, that's... I'm so annoyed with myself that I did that, though. 
Every time I hit one of these guys, I could have just had this tick, 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 you know, ah. That effect is so good, and I blew it. Fire arrows at a greater range with a 100% chance to hit. Unfortunately, it's greater, but not great enough to hit those guys. So if I do this, I can do four damage. All right. I mean, that's not bad. And he was the more powerful guy left over here, so. Okay. Can't really move him at all. So I will actually. It's actually kind of hard. I will break this guy's armor. And I don't think I need to spend willpower. All right. So we broke their armor a little bit as well, which is good. It's good. So let me do the same thing. I'm going to break armor here. And we're getting our... Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't go down the, the line for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like it should have. Sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit confused about when things work and when they don't. I'll admit it. Alright, you're dead. And Avend is over there just going nuts, man. Alright, if we can clear away the dredge. Doggone these guys throwing their stupid things. Okay, what if I like came around here, get out of uh, his way? I tell you what, maybe we'll try impaling him. Uh, unfortunately, that did not leave him a path. I thought he would go back farther. Okay, she can hit that guy for 10, which is pretty crazy. Somebody recently told me uh, that if you leave your archers standing still, they do more damage. And I hadn't fully understood that before, so I definitely appreciate that kind of info. All right, we're gonna get him off of there. Boy, his, oh, his strength is really low. All right, so he has no armor, but his health is still fine. Or his strength, perhaps I should call it. Who do I want to hit here? Why don't I step forward? Let's just kill this idiot, I think. Oh, I'm still on one of these things. That's one thing, like, a lot of times I can't see them. I can't... Oh, oh I can get to him. Alright, let's go. Um, I think this should be sufficient. Yeah, sorry about that, Mogger. I thought I got him to safety. I really did. Uh, I can do damage, but I gotta take damage if I do. Crap. I think I'm gonna just eat the damage because I can kill this guy. There's not that many dudes left on the field. And I'd like to take them out before things get any uglier. Let me see if I can hurt this guy. Because that's the other thing. If you can just, you know, get to the point where they are breaking armor and nothing else, they kind of are irrelevant anyway. Although I guess these guys always have the option of... Um, Okay, I have to move her or I can't do any damage. They always have the option... Oh, brother. Crap. 
of just using these stupid stones. So they can still potentially hurt you. Look, I am messing around with you, jackass. Here's hoping that we uh, get the percentage chance to pay off, and we did. Poor Mogger. Uh, why don't I just come here? I'll save the willpower and put this guy down. But this idiot is at full strength, so I gotta deal with that. And now he just injured my second guy. But he's gonna pay the price. So I can't kill him? Well, let me try this. There we go. Now you're dead. <laughs> Whew, that was a tough fight. They managed to put two Varl down. Oh man, we lost some guys too. Plus seven renown. Yep, Mogger's injured. And Ivor. Sorry guys. I don't know. I probably could have managed that a little better. Oh my god, 20 renown? Juno walks onto the floating land, cradling a kid goat in one arm. She looks strained, but beckons to the families to follow. You shout for everyone to start moving, but the fighters and clansmen alike remain motionless. Large chunks of earth bobbing in midair like ships at sea has everyone unsettled. Finally, Ivor takes the reins of a yox loaded with a supply cart and walks out onto the first floating stone. It supports the load without issue. We go this way or the dredge kill us all. His words are punctuated by slinger stones thudding into the ground only feet away. Men pick up their children and start running. The caravan animals squawk and bleat in the frenzy. Varl push through the crowd while others fight to follow in their wake. The frightened mob tramples a few and knocks a couple more from the ledge before everyone is strangely pacified. Even you feel a sense of calm settle your nerves. Um, that's Juno. I would bet money on it. Calming people down. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, this is so Yoda. <laughs> The wounded and elderly struggle to make it onto the floating rocks while fear of the bridge paralyzes the legs of others. The dredge give chase, crossing under the bridge without hesitation. Ah. Is this asking too much though? Like what if dropping part of it? Let's do it though. That would be by far the most effective. It's not easy to mount the words, but there are just too many dredge. While Avon seems unresponsive, Juno nods to you. You watch as the floating stones nearest the land tremble and drop back into the chasm, taking all standing there with them. The sight is terrifying, but you turn and urge the others to keep moving forward. That's... that's pretty amazing, though, like... This definitely ramps up Avon's credibility, you know? I mean, he was like moderately useful in a fight, but in part one, you know, in the first game, they talk about the Menders like they're this amazing thing. And I never really got that sense so much. But this is pretty crazy. Avond is growing visibly weaker. Meanwhile, many in the caravan are stunned by witnessing family members fall to their deaths. The effect is spreading. Everyone look forward. Move. Maybe I should do this. Run to the back and push people forward. I'll try it. Your footing is precarious as you reach the collapsing rear of the bridge. You start pushing men, women, and children ahead. Others follow your lead, but it's clip 
The varl you picked up on the shoreline who shoves a dozen teetering people forward at the cost of his own life. Ah, sorry, Clip. Man, so that's two, uh, two varl that we knew by name that are gone in just the last few minutes. <laughs> How big is this? This is like the Grand Canyon, man. The stones behind the caravan are falling faster than the rising ones in front. The rear clansmen are pushing forward in a panic. Well, at least they're not delaying anymore. Bolverk shouts, knock some of those people over the edge before we all go down. People gasp and flee from him. What the hell is he talking about? We're carrying too much, Ivor says. We've got to get rid of something before that mender drops us all into the depths. You look around and see only people, food, and the massive cart the ravens are hauling. Only two of those are an option. Well, this should go well. Bulwark, throw that cart over the edge. Before the Varl can respond, Juno says, absolutely not. Her distraction affects Avond, who falls to a knee. The entire bridge shakes and stones fall away around you. Clansmen scream as they fall to their deaths. Juno scrambles back to Avond's side and the shaking stops. Oh my god, this is nuts. Bulwark snorts at you. Should have left those people back on the other side. At least they could have died fighting. The caravan continues forward in a fog of fear and worry. Oh my god. You know how just literally terrified you would be if you were trying to do something like this? I can't even imagine. And you see, like, the guy who's doing all this, you just watch him getting weaker and weaker. He's, like, ready to pass out. So Juno is encouraging him. Just a little further, Avon. You can do it. You're the little mender that could. You're a doobie. Avon's scream chills you as it echoes off the cliff a mere hundred yards away. Again, the bridge shakes but stays together. When Juno looks at you, her lips are trembling. This is killing him, she says, and I won't let that happen. Her tone is dark and cold. What's the alternative? She says nothing, but looks toward the rear of the caravan. Governor Ruga and many others from Borsgard are back there. You told me the clansmen are important. Avon must try. There's no time for me to explain, Juno says. Wow. The Valka returned to Avon's side and soon screams are up from behind you. You turn in time to see people falling away and Ruga pulled the safety by one of his guards. As the rest of the caravan pushes forward in fear, the governor glances at you with suspicion. I mean, I don't really blame him. <laughs> wow, that's cold. And we are almost there. I, I don't even know that I believe that was necessary. It does seem like it was her plan. Maybe I should have called her on that. But I don't think it would have mattered. Man. Oh, man, that's bonkers. I don't even know how many people we lost. We kept getting these messages about minus so many clansmen, minus so many fighters. Watch your step. It's hard to believe we made it across that chasm. Now we find what's left of Ormstalur. Once a great trade town at the fork of the Ormsa River. How many lives must have been lost here? Hmm. Whatever caused that chasm completely destroyed this place. It's got to be that serpent. 
From the massive varl to the youngest human children, everyone is sapped from crossing the chasm. Tents are loosely strung up and gear is thrown on the ground as everyone falls asleep. You manage to post a few guards out of habit before sinking down against a crate, wrapping your cloak around you and closing your eyes. Your chest aches as if from a wasp sting. Feeling around from the, for the cause of it, you look down between your leathery gray fingers running over a red stone breastplate. Brother, so we're like in kind of seeing through the eyes of a dredge. Gasping, you open your eyes to find your cloak still wrapped around you. No stone armor underneath. The caravan is still asleep, snoring more prevalent than usual. You're able to drift off for a bit more rest before facing the tasks of the new day. Okay, well, we'll have to try to rest here because uh, I want to get my morale up. And God knows I feel like I earned that food, the supplies, because boy, they, they really wanted me to get rid of it, didn't they? They kept asking, you sure you don't want to throw it away? You sure you don't want to throw it away? <laughs> Well, okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna leave it here for now. This is like I said, this is a very long installment, uh, but I didn't want to cut it off in the middle of all that. And we had such talky episodes for the first two. It was kind of nice to have some action, and boy, boy, did we have some. I mean, that was bonkers. It really was. So I hope you enjoyed it too. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.